Hi, and welcome to Science Following with JC. I'm your host, Jody Ferguson, and I'm thrilled to have with me today, April Stutzman. Yay. Welcome, April. We're so happy to have you here. Oh, glad to be here. Yay. Um, Science Following with JC is based on the last two words in the book of Mark. Mark 16, 20 says, they went out and preached the gospel mm -hmm. everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming his word with signs following. So, um, April, will you open us in prayer today? Yes, I will. Great. Thank you, Father. We just thank you for what you're going to do today. We just thank you that even as we talk about your presence and we talk about who you are, we just thank you for miracles coming through the airwaves, Lord. Thank that you, even Lord. as your presence touches the people watching, Lord, the people will be healed, people will be set free, and they will experience your glory, and they will have revelation of your glory. We just mm. declare that in Jesus' name. Yes, amen. amen. Thank you so much. Yeah. I was reading in um, Zechariah 4, 6, and it says, not by might or power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. I love Come that on. scripture, and I really feel like that's a scripture like for this day, that it's like, amen. we're not gonna do things like in our own strength, but by amen. the strength and power of the Holy Spirit that we're going to be able to accomplish much. Amen. And then I love in um, verse seven, it actually says, who are you great mountain that you will not be laid low? And I love that. So today mm -hmm. we just speak to any mountains, any yes. obstacles, and we yes. say, we command the mountains to be laid low in people's yes. lives and every crooked way to be made yes. straight in the name of Jesus, that yes. God's will would be done. We welcome his kingdom, his power, his glory today. Amen. And um, speaking of his glory, you know, Amen. I love what you've been doing on your glory story. So tell us about that. How'd you get started in this? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been amazing. You're doing mm -hmm. a great job. I love it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I just had been spending some time with the Lord mm -hmm. and the father just, I was just spending time with Jesus, talking to him, asking him, you know, his heart. Yeah. You know, because the, the closer you get to the Father, the more you want to know His heart. Amen. And it's about what He wants and what He wants to do. Mm -hmm. And He just spoke to me and He said, media is mine. Wow. And yeah. I just felt the love of the Father for media and how much that He can use it for His glory. Yes. So I just said, okay, Lord, you, you said media is, is yours. What do I have now that I can be obedient in? Wow. That was the question that I really asked my heart, like, I don't know how you want to do media and I'm not used to media. So let me sit before the Lord and see what he wants to do. And I just felt like he said glory stories because wow. I love to honor people and the glory that they mm -hmm. carry and to teach people how to carry the glory of God and what it even means right. to carry the glory of God. Because as the word says, First Corinthians three sixteen, we are the temple, mm -hmm. and in Ezekiel forty four four, the temple was filled with the glory of God, and yes, we are I love the that scripture. temple, and that's yes. what the Holy Spirit kept speaking to me. And in Romans eight fourteen, we are the sons and daughters of God, mm -hmm. and so that as we are sons and daughters of God, we can carry His presence. Wow! But the problem that I've seen and understanding that you are a daughter and a son of God is people don't know what it's like to sit in the presence of God because they don't know how to get there. Right. So that's what I really felt like the Lord was wanting on the media. Mm -hmm. and, and I got a podcast called <laughs> Glory Stories. You've been on it. Yes, I and love it. It just, it really felt like God was calling his children. It was a more of a cry of intimacy. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Wow. It was more. So Lord, I just release the glory of mm -hmm. everybody watching right now. I just ask yes. that they feel your presence if they don't know what glory means. It's just the presence of God like it was in, mm -hmm. the, in the garden with Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. I just thank you, Lord, that even now that they will feel something they've never felt in your presence. And they will just know the heart of the Father. And if you don't know Jesus and you're watching this and you're like, what is the glory? I want to experience his glory. Just say, Jesus, come into my heart. I believe you died on that cross. I just yes. ask that you come into your to my heart. You were resurrected from the dead. Just make yourself real to me. Help me to understand this glory that they're talking about. Because I, I truly believe that in the heart of hearts, we all cry out to know the Father. We just yes. sometimes feel it with the wrong things. Yeah, that's so good. I love the scripture in John, um, I'll look up the reference for it, but it says, a time is coming and now is, Amen. when the dead in Christ will hear the voice of the Son of God and those having heard will live. Amen. And I think that's exactly like what you just did, you know, praying into people that don't know the Lord 
or those who need our hearts resurrected. Like yes. there's times when just through, you know, the hardness of life yeah. that we're, we're not knowing how to get in the glory so that God can heal and resurrect our hearts. Amen. That was one of the scriptures that really meant a lot to me. I'm just going to read it because it's so beautiful. I don't want to miss one word of it. And it's 2 Corinthians 3.18. And we who are with unveiled faces are yes. reflecting the Lord's glory and being transformed into His likeness with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord. And there was a level of transformation over time when you consistently get before the Lord. He spoke to my heart, mm -hmm. whether it was just instrumental, whether it was just me singing before the Lord, whether it was with me playing, you know, music really loud. It's kind of like, what was the Lord directing me to do that day? There's no formula. Yeah. And you don't have to have music to get in the secret place and, and the glory and presence of God. But the vibration and frequency from the music actually allows you to get, connect quicker to the Lord. Because that's yeah. what we were created to do. We were created to worship. So when I truly believe when people worship yeah. and they, they focus on the Lord, He's so delighted. His presence just comes. It's like the throne room just comes right to you because you're doing what's going on in heaven. You're that's cooperating beautiful. with what's going on in heaven. That's beautiful. And I think that that's an area where when we really feel the true love of God, mm -hmm. the true heart of the Father and yeah. His presence, yeah. when we feel secure and we feel loved, we're happy to mm -hmm. go like this. We're happy yes. to lay things down. We're happy to surrender. If if not, then we're kind of fearful sometimes, like mm -hmm. we don't want to, we've, we've seen modeled in the world what is conditional love yeah. or not true love. And when we really have the Father's love, you're right, that's, it's again, goes back to the scripture you read that it's transformational. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So what's your favorite um, glory story, your favorite thing that you've done? Tell us about that. Oh, man, there's so many personalities that I've been interviewing on the glory stories because I want people from all walks of life mm -hmm. to be able to come on there and say, OK, I don't relate to that personality and they may turn it off. Yeah. But there's like <clears throat> going to be multiple, multiple, 10, 15, 20, 30, however long the Lord wants me to do this personalities that they can say, OK, this person shared on the first story of mm -hmm. how they experienced the glory. This person shared how they cultivate it. So I'm going to, I really connect with this personality. Yeah. So I can hear a testimony of Jesus, which is the spirit of prophecy, them testifying on how they experience the God with walking beside him and saying, yeah. okay, God, this person's testifying. I can relate to this personality. Maybe there's some truth to what they're saying. Maybe I want to study these scriptures. That's good. Or, or maybe they got touched by the glory. We've had a few healings, a few miracles, yes. a few deliverances That's on the awesome. glory. Because it's His presence. Mm -hmm. Everything we need is in His presence. That's so good. And we um, together just declare the scripture, Habakkuk 2.14, that the earth mm -hmm. shall be filled yes. with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Mm -hmm. So again, God's glory rides in on waves of love. Amen. Without His love, you know, people are yeah. not going to trust and be drawn mm -hmm. to his heart. And when they really see his heart more and more, the mm -hmm. glory of God is covering the earth more and more. And I love that, like saturation. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're going for. And I, mm -hmm. I just really um, honor you for that. Mm -hmm. I love what you're doing. Thank you. It's just amazing. I see as I celebrate transformation and the glory, I can so see how beautiful God's plan is mm. because, you know, I used to believe in sensationalism. I used wow. to believe in all this stuff and, and I would study my word, but I didn't experience God's presence. Wow. And there was no fruit out of that. Yeah. I would study the word and study the word and study the word and study the word, but I didn't know the heart of the father. Yeah. So when I got in his presence and started studying the glory and watching people and reading books and, and mm -hmm. sewing into other ministries and going to conferences to understand the glory and then asking God for revelation, I could see how much it transformed me from the inside out. Yeah. 